Welcome to the project demonstration of hydrophonics plant monitoring and controlling system. So in this project we are going to monitor the three parameters. One is pH, another is electron conductivity sensor and water level sensor. Based on these three inputs we are going to control in the three pumps. Whenever the pH is above 7.5 then we are going to control the neutralizer motor so this is a peristaltic pump will pump the uh, liquid to level in the of this ph value and if the conductivity is less to make the conductivity above uh, 800 1800 uh, milliseconds per centimeter so there's a limit we set for that so when it is below that then we are going to on this pump and this will add the neutralizer water to make it is above 1.800 uh, milliseconds per second so this will add the salt to water and next water level so whenever the water level is below 50 percent then this motor will get switched on to level the water and all these parameters data continuously monitored by our uno board and displayed on this 16 by 2 lcd screen and also we are going to send the data to the blink application to monitor them continuously from anywhere in the world directly so this blink application show the data in this manner that is the pH first one is second one is EC and third one is level and the next the flow is we are going to provide the 230 volts input to this cable this is the power supply for these three DC motors so as we provide the DC power supply that's why we are making use of this regulated power supply boards which will take 230 volts AC input and it has the four stages that is step down means uh, AC to AC like step down to level volts so AC to the volts AC to and the next uh, rectifier and next filtration and next regulation so there we will get the pure 5 volts DC power supply which is sufficient to run these three motors this is the same purpose as we need to provide the high power that's why we are using two regulated power supply boards and the next this is the electromagnetic relay board 5 volt operated based on the input from the unit board we are going to controlling these uh, motors so means as we discussed the ph and uh, ec and our uh, next levels and next this is going to be the breadboard in order to distribute the 5 volts power supply throughout the all boards we are going to making use of this for 5 volts distribution purpose and next to upload the data to the thing speak sorry a blink application we are going to making use of this ESP8266 module. So coming to the interfacing connections. So we have interface a pH sensor. This is a pH sensor amplifier which was interfaced to the A0 and A1 for EC sensor and 10 and 11 for our ultrasonic sensor to measure the level and pin number 22, pin number 7 for the LCD, pin number 8 and 9 for the ESP8266 module and A3, A4, A5 pins are connected to the Sorry, A2, A3, A4 pins are connected to this three uh, relays and one is uh, not connected. So let us see demonstration. Before switching on the kit, we need to enable the hotspot in your phone. So change the hotspot name to project. So project 5167 and a password should be 129. Then after on the hotspot on the data, so you need to check twice without any space, without any capital letter. So after on the hotspot along with data, stay there. So now we can see there is a red icon here. It's showing that device is offline. Once we switch on the power supply, then it will be connected to the blink app. So provide the power supply for the motors. And uh, then this is the adapter which will take to the volts input and provide as the 5 volts output for the uh, Arduino you know, and our controllers. Right. So then there is a welcome message. You can see that the red mark icon will be gone on this so let us place the level for high so now the level is high now the uh, EC motor got switched on as there is no like less connectivity so let us place in the salt water right okay 
and coming to the pH value also. So Place this in normal water initially, so it will be stabilized around 30 seconds of time. So you can see that the pH values keep on increasing. So let us place this in the lime water. So motor got switched on to neutralize the pH value. Right. And continuously we can get the data into the blink application.